Many athletes only dream. Wheelchair rugby, also known as murder ball, is a team sport for quadriplegics, modeled after basketball, rugby, and hockey. The object of the game is to carry the ball across the goal line of the opposing team. After speaking with the Canadian Paralympic rugby team, it is clear that this challenging sport requires tremendous skill and hours of hard work and dedication. We're training camps throughout the year. They can be anywhere from 10 to 21 days long. Our national training center is in uh, Victoria, Canada, uh, at the Pacific Institute for Sport Excellence, uh, acronym being PICE, P I S E. Uh, so that's a wonderful state of the art facility, uh, very similar to your English Institutes of Sport. Uh, so we train out of there where a majority of our sports science staff uh, are based. Sports have always been a part of Andy's life, playing hockey from a young age. He has his PhD in creating long term athlete development models. After working in the United Kingdom, he returned to Canada to work as a sports performance director for the Canadian Sports Centre Pacific, where he now teaches and develops sport management and coaching programs, in addition to being involved with the Canadian wheelchair rugby team. The Canadian Paralympic rugby team chose the University of Leeds as the location for their training camp. They spent six days here in April prior to heading to London for some pre-game friendly competition and will return in August before the London 2012 Paralympic Games. In a press release from the University of Leeds, Andy was quoted stating that this is an important time for the athletes to prime themselves for the intensity of competition in September, and the university has provided the perfect atmosphere to make the team as successful as it can be. Anywhere from, uh, from if you come from Vancouver, it's nine hours, eight hour time change. So acclimation is the key, physiological acclimation. So we have mm -hmm. physiologists and doctors that work with us. Uh, we have a clinic or sleep clinic in the University of Calgary that helps us with adaptation processes. So we adjust our entire training schedule. So you'll find out that tonight we train from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Um, and ever since we've arrived here, we've been sliding our, our time clock to get our circadian uh, mm -hmm. compass uh, aligned so that when we compete next week uh, at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock, the gold match being 6 o'clock, and being in it, we'll have to be prepared to be uh, totally awake for 6 p.m. They, they'll train on a typical training day, like in this particular day, they'll train for, for about two hours, an hour and a half to two hours. Yesterday, we trained for three hours uh, and then had a break for two hours, did a video session for an hour, and then trained again for another three more hours. And, and that would be a variety of uh, technical as well as tactical training, working out strategy, but then uh, uh, our, our biggest challenge for the coaching staff is to make sure it doesn't get too intense because it can be an incredibly uh, aggressive game. So yesterday they went at each other a little bit uh, too hard. <laughs> so we're trying to pull them back a little bit, but I'm sure we'll also give you a very good show today. The last time we saw the Canadian Paralympic rugby team was in Beijing, China, at the Beijing 2008 Paralympic Games. After two successful games against Japan and China, Canada was defeated by the United States and Australia in the semi-final round. They rose to the occasion in the bronze medal game against Great Britain with a conquering win of 47-41. Four years later, the team is back and they have their eye on the gold medal. Andy is extremely proud of his team and believes their hard work and preparations will pay off when they compete at the London 2012 Paralympic Games. That, uh, our, our target is gold. We've assembled probably the most uh, experienced team in wheelchair rugby right now in terms of the people that are down on the court behind me. And uh, they certainly hold themselves to the highest expectations. So uh, gold, nothing less than gold will do. The Canadian wheelchair rugby team is not only made up of a group of committed players, but also a dedicated and encouraging support staff. It is people like Andy who will guide the team on their road to the gold.